Hi, today I'm going to show you how to fill a shape with a pattern in Inkscape to use in your Cricut Design Space projects. This is also the same process to crop a photo to a shape. Until Design Space has the capability to do this on its own, it's really quick and easy to do it in Inkscape. I'm going to show you how. You need a photo or image to use as your fill, and you need a shape. To get my photo, I just went to File, Import, and brought in a photo. To get a shape, in this case I'm just using a letter, so I just typed it in using the text tool, changed the font and size at, to get it how I wanted it. It's going to be easier to see if we make this letter transparent, so I'm going to change the outline color to this turquoise color by holding on the shift key and clicking, and then I'm going to make the letter transparent by just clicking on this X in the corner, that's the transparent swatch. That's how we change colors in Inkscape. I'm going to zoom in so we can see this better and now we just position this wherever we want it on the photo. Once we get the position like we want it, we have to set the fill again so that this works. So I just clicked on the white swatch to fill it again. Now I'm going to drag around to select both the image and the shape. And now I need to set the clip. So I'm going to go to Object, Clip, Set. I could have also right clicked and chosen Set Clip. And there it is all done. Now we just need to get it into a format that Cricut Design Space can use. So to do that I'm going to go to File, Export Bitmap. You'll see this dialog box come up. You want to make sure Drawing is checked. You want to set this number to 200 dpi. And then you want to click Browse to set the location and name for the exported file. So I've already done that and I'm going to click Save. Well, I guess I haven't already done that, so I'm going to call this a test. It's going to my Documents folder, so I'm going to click Save. That didn't save the file. All that did was put a name in this box for where we're going to look for that file. I still have to click the Export button, and you'll see the little progress bar, and you know that that's done. So now you can go to Design Space, and I must have already been mid-upload here, so let me get back up. I'll go to Upload Image. Click Basic Upload, continue to step one, browse, go to that location where I just saved this, my Documents folder in this case, select Choose, you can click Simple Image, and we can just back out a little bit, check the eyeball to make sure that that gives us the shape we wanted. Yes, it does. And we want to make sure that we check Preserve Original Image Within Shape and click Save. Takes a second. And then there's our image. We can click on Insert Images after we've checked it. And there's our image, all set up to print and cut in Design Space. Quick and easy, not much to it. Thanks for watching.